Okay, so in this video, I'll cover how to mount and start stringing your racket. So, yeah, let's get started. Um, I'll just put that there for a sec. Okay, so here you have the racket, and then you have the clamp. Then you'll just like keep on pulling this string, and then you'll see that the clamp is coming. And then what I'll do is I'll just tension the string some. Dang it. Probably turn it around. Just kidding. Can't turn it around. Okay, um. So I'll just take this. And then grab it. And scoot it down some because you'll need some space for the mount there. So I just grabbed the string and now I have an, a bunch of extra strings. So I'll just pull that up. And so what you should have now is something like this with uh, enough string so you can pull it. Um, actually just Okay, so now we're getting to mounting. So essentially what you want to do is um, put the racket on so that the edges of the racket rest on this black strip. So it should rest along this black strip so the pressure isn't concentrated at one place I'm not sure maybe you saw it in a video but I'll try to show it to you here um, actually the before you do that the most important thing in mounting is to make sure that this is secure so all right so So taking this, loosening it, and then pushing forward with your thumb to make sure that the racket won't slip. Again, with this side. Okay, now after you've done that, you have one side that's already in the place it should be and one place that, and one side that needs to move. So. You just place this over here and place the other side. So you can see the black strip is against the racket. It's wrong if you have the racket against the metal part because that'll concentrate the pressure in one place. So you put it on the black part and then you yeah, you put it on the black part. Then you clamp it down with the other um, side with the other black part, and then you screw it in. Yeah, you can see that. Okay. So then this side isn't all the way set yet, so um, just shoot. Okay, so it's not lined up yet. So now you're going to have to readjust this side and make sure that the black part is against the racket. Again, not the metal part. Okay. So then, same thing. You put this on, and you screw this in. Okay, so depending on what tension you want, you view this thing. And then, so Benson wants 26. Benson wants 26, so I'll go to 75. So on this, I'll make it go to 75. And 
good. So it's at 75. And now I guess I'll get to actual streaming part. So actually, as of now, you have two strings coming out of here. So what you need to do is get your other clamp. Yeah, your other clamp ready. And then, so you essentially just need to pull enough string. You need to pull enough string from the racket to get to here, okay? So now what I just did is I just fed the string into here pretty tight. So now I'll just let this come over with my hand. Okay, now you see, this isn't horizontal quite. So I need to, um, I need to loosen it up a little bit. And now it's horizontal. Okay, so now it's horizontal, which means that the tension is right. So I'll clamp two strings. See, notice that this is a tight string and then there's a tight string next to it. That's important, otherwise you're not tensioning anything. <laughs> okay? Now I'm gonna do the same thing with the other side. Right now I'm just taking a string, feeding it. You open up this, the teeth, then you pull it closed. But I'm gonna tension it a little bit more. So yeah, as you can see, it's almost horizontal, but when I release this clamp, it'll be horizontal, horizontal. Okay, so yeah, that's how you tension. And what you do now is, so you've tensioned these two and then you just keep on pulling, uh, more strings that aren't tensioned um, to tension like the entire racket. So you'll notice that this hole is over here and the loose, the loose string right beyond where I'm tensioning it goes to here, which is where I'm pulling from. So you're only tensioning like one hole at a time, essentially, one main at a time. So yeah, I'm just gonna tension up some. And then it'll be horizontal. Eventually. Once it's horizontal, you can take the clamp and make sure you just clamp the two most recently tensioned strings and then take the tension away and you swing it around and do it on the other side. Again, I'll just pull it around just so I can show you. Um, Feeding the string in, okay. Then you just take this, pull it back some, and then you just let it go. And this will be horizontal. So then you take this. Okay, see, this string is tensioned as well. So just take this and save the tension. Okay, and then you keep on going through all the mains that you pre-strung. And then with this side, you'll need to pre-string along the way, which is just stringing. But 
yeah, I guess I'll have maybe a new video for the cross strings. And maybe tying a knot too. <laughs>